You're not excited? I know, it's really early and cold. But it's time to go, let's go! Oh, there it is. Ozzy is not a big fan of the snow, but we have to go on an early morning walk nonetheless. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Rila Rabah. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgery resident in Boston. And this is a day in the life vlog, which is starting out to be pretty similar to my usual mornings when I head into the hospital, except it feels really different because today is vaccine day and I'm super excited, you guys. I already got my Moderna dose one vaccine 28 days ago. So this is my scheduled dose two. If you haven't seen my vlog on my dose one and my symptoms and how I felt, make sure you check that out. And if you follow me on Instagram at 15 blades, you know that this year I am doing my general surgery and anesthesia year. And so right now I'm on my anesthesia rotation. I'm headed to the hospital to do a few anesthesia cases that I'm assigned to. And then at 2 p.m. I have my um, vaccine scheduled. And so if I get off a little bit earlier, I might go and try and get my vaccine early. But either way, today I'm gonna take you along with me to show you what it's like to get the vaccine and to show you um, what I might feel like afterwards. This will be just a regular day in the life video with a little bit of addition. Okay, so in terms of scheduling, today is really just like every other day while I'm on anesthesia. As a surgical resident who's doing my anesthesia rotation, I get assigned several cases in the day. I prep for them the night before, and then when I get to the hospital, I go change into my OR scripts, go to pre-op, meet my patients, and then we go to the operating room. We do the case, I do the anesthesia. Sometimes I'm with a CRNA, sometimes I'm with an attending. Um, and then we finish the case. Once they're done with the surgery, take the patient to PACU, make sure that they're recovering, and then go on to our next case. So today I have short cases, so I'll be hopping around between pre-op operating room PACU, pre-op operating room PACU, and it's a little dance. And it's really good for learning when you have quick turnover. Um, and so I'm really excited for today. So we are done with the first case and this is what it looks like to wear the N95 for just 20 minutes during intubation and extubation. I can't believe that in the beginning of the pandemic we used to wear the N95 like 24 seven and I'd have so much skin irritation but it was saving lives literally. So I was really, really grateful. But now we test all the patients for COVID-19 since testing is more available so I don't have to wear it all the time. We just wear it during really aerosolizing procedures like intubations and extubations and whenever we're doing any OMFS or head and neck cases. And so um, things have gotten better, that's for sure. Now that we're done with the first case, I'm gonna go to PACU, make sure the patient's waking up nicely, and then I'll go to pre-op and see my second case. I'm going to go to pre-op to go grab my uh, third patient, and I'm going to do my last case of the day. And then we'll head out and go and get the vaccine all done with cases heading into the lockers to change and then going to get my vaccine headed to go get my covid vaccine in the employee building i got my cdc card for my first dose and i'm ready to go Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, thanks. 
got my vaccine and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to go to observation and wait there for about 15 minutes to make sure I don't have any immediate reactions. And then I'm gonna go on the rest of my day. So that Finished 15 minutes of observation, everything felt fine, no issues whatsoever. The injection was actually pretty painless and I am now done for the day, so I'm going to head home and keep an eye on my symptoms. I will keep you updated play by play on my symptoms and if I am feeling anything after my vaccine. Hello. So it's been a couple of hours and I'm feeling pretty good. I had some lunch, no symptoms really. Last time when I got the vaccine, one of the worst things was my arm was so sore, which usually happens to me when I get any vaccine, but I was told that if you actually move your arm quite a bit right after you get the vaccine, you will be less sore. So I'm going to test that theory and I might actually hop on the bike and do a quick workout, take out Ozzy on a walk, just kind of like stay active as long as I'm feeling good to see whether or not we can prove this theory to be correct. And really cold on the East Coast the last couple of days. I think it's still a little bit snowing and so I decided since I have energy and the sun is about to go down, I'm gonna take Ozzy on a little stroll. I'm feeling pretty good after my walk with Ozzy, so I am going to hop on the bike and do a quick ride. Two of my favorite instructors on Peloton are um, Cody and Robin. Robin is like an ex-lawyer who is a boss, and I love watching her. She's super positive, and she like really mot motivates you. And then Cody is like, just a ton of fun always dancing i love his playlist and so i haven't done a lot of the instructors but those are two of my favorites and so i'm gonna do a quick groove class with cody right now and have a couple of cheat days this weekend so uh, i'm gonna get to it just finished my workout and hopped in the shower made some tea and i'm not even gonna lie you guys the plan for the rest of the evening is some netflix <laughs> some tea, some Netflix, and of course a begging dog. It's almost 9 p.m. and I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache and honestly, I'm a little bit of a baby. So I'm gonna take some Tylenol, even though it's not that dramatic and I'm gonna to go to bed early, but it looks like someone has already beaten me to it. So I just woke up. I am feeling pretty fatigued. My body really hurts all over. So I am going to call in sick and try to take it easy today. I never sleep in till nine, like ever. So definitely feeling it today um, a lot more than the first dose. But I'm gonna get up, get on the couch, drink something hot and see how I feel the rest of the day. The only thing that can make you feel better is some comfort food. Still not feeling that great, but I'm definitely improving. Just having some body aches and a headache and that's about it. So I'm gonna have some pizza. Hey guys, so this is 24 hours after the Moderna vaccine. I have to say, I feel pretty lousy today. Um, full body aches, really, really fatigued. Um, I don't have a fever, but I am feeling just really, really exhausted um, to the point where I had to call out sick, which I don't normally do. Actually, I don't think I've ever called out sick in the last four years of residency, but I just felt like if I went to work today, it would have been a disaster because I'm feeling really, really weak. Um, I definitely felt fatigued after the first dose of Moderna. Um, but I still went to work and worked half day and then came home. I'm, I took some DayQuil um, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better, which is why I'm recording this video because in the morning I was not feeling good at all. But now I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So I'm just gonna sit and watch some TV and have some tea and really take it easy. Um, and I'll let you guys know how I feel throughout the day. 
is day two after the vaccine. I woke up at 9.30 in the morning again without an alarm. It's Saturday morning. Um, I don't ever sleep in like this. So to sleep in two days in a row like this, I know my body's really tired. Um, I'm going to get up, have some breakfast, see how I feel for the rest of the day. Yesterday, I did not even record when I went to bed because I just fell asleep on the couch. I think it was 10 p.m. Uh, feeling much, much, much better. My body's still a little bit achy, but otherwise I'm feeling really good. So I'm going to start out with this yummy looking breakfast. This is day two after getting the Moderna second dose and I am feeling so much better today. In fact, I just got ready and we're gonna go out and run some errands. I have to say yesterday was pretty rough. I hadn't felt this that lousy in a while. I was really fatigued, had body aches, um, was really, really tired, kept sleeping all day, watching TV, getting up, sleeping, watching TV. I had a headache, um, I was nauseous for part of the day. And so um, I was just taking um, Tylenol and Dayquil and then took NyQuil at night. Um, to, and that seemed to be, that seemed to have helped yesterday. So that was good. Um, and then this morning, I just feel like a thousand times better, full of energy, no issues whatsoever. I don't have a headache anymore. Um, my arm is a little bit sore, but honestly, it wasn't even as sore as the first dose. So I think moving your arm after getting the vaccine is actually helpful. So that theory was correct. Um, at least for me, it worked out. But I would say that the my um, symptoms after the second dose were definitely much more exaggerated than the first dose. But that makes me feel relieved because I feel like that means my body is really mounting an immune response and I'm making antibodies. And so um, 24 hours of feeling lousy is totally worth it for me. And I would happily take that over, um, you know, getting infected with coronavirus so that's how i look at it and now i'm feeling much better and i'm ready to enjoy the rest of the weekend sunny but still cold but gonna run a few errands and head back home still feeling pretty good today no issues no symptoms Spent a couple of hours running errands someone is pooped so we are going to head back home Take it easy for the rest of the day. It was a different kind of vlog than my usual day in the life, but it was definitely a true um, representation of my experience during the COVID-19 Moderna Dose 2 vaccine. You guys see what my experience is like. Remember, everyone will have a totally different experience based on your body. For the most part, um, a lot of my colleagues who've gotten the vaccine have had similar um, experiences to mine. And so hopefully with me sharing my experience, um, you guys can have a little bit more information Remember, when you are making a decision um, in taking this vaccine, make sure that you uh, do research and depend on legitimate resources and make sure that you are looking at evidence-based um, information that everyone will have different reactions and different opinions. So make sure that you are doing your due diligence with your research. I will share some resources below in the description. But uh, if you guys want to follow me for daily posts like this and more, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at 15blades and subscribe to this channel for weekly videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time.